there's this news courtesy of instagram courtesy of the page called stay grounded and i thought this is a very interesting question it's regarding the hundreds and this person posted the hundreds is just important as to, the hundreds is just important to streetwear as supreme and i have to agree but I also think, unfortunately, the hundreds suffered um, from just being too corny or for maybe the people not liking the fan base or the customer base of the hundreds. And they were maybe the first prominent streetwear brand I remember at that time who basically suffered because people thought their fans were corny. I can't really think of another brand that had the same sort of issue. Maybe Supreme for a little bit had the same issue, maybe Bape for a while. Um, but for the most part, I feel like the main reason why the 100 doesn't get respected the way it should do, and the main reason why people kind of maybe, you know, discount them and don't really take them too seriously, has to do with the fact that their fans were looked at as corny. Because I guess at the time, there was a big Filipino, uh, Mexican type of big fan base around the hundreds at the time. They were very, very West Coast. Maybe at the time, West Coast streetwear wasn't very looked at as the cool thing. There were a lot of obviously West Coast streetwear brands and stores, but I don't feel like the scene around it was as cool as it is maybe nowadays, if that makes any sense. Um, because, you know, I was a big fan of the hundreds. I used to wear a lot of the hundreds back in the day. And um, one of the things I did actually when I did the hundreds, when the hundreds was really, 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 really prominent, right? Is that I met the hundreds guy, Bobby Hundreds, the founder. And that was really an interesting and pivotal moment in my sort of like streetwear quote unquote career. Cause I remember that was also the time when I was sort of like struggling to sort of like, you know, integrate myself in the scene because I met a lot of resistance or people acting like a big time, being too cool for school and stuff. And I remember kind of being friendly with the hundreds guy, Bobby Hundreds on forums. I think back in the day on the hype forum and he happened to be friends um with this guy called nick jackson who used to run a brand called 12 bar and at the time when i was around 18 19 i was interning at 12 bar i was an intern at 12 bar one of the first one of the first 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 internships i ever received or ever had and it was amazing because it kind of opened my eyes up to like what it means to have clout and what the really important thing is um to kind of strive for if you're kind of you know trying to make your name to yourself in this little subculture or a niche or a scene and that is to just do the work to be an integral member of the scene and to not worry about you know um trying to suck up to people to not worry about trying to be people's friends and instead focus on the work instead try and build up your brand try and build up your agency your photography portfolio whatever it is you're doing and most likely that will get you to the places that you want and it will most likely have the same people that you are trying to lick their asses end up licking yours it's very toxic it's very destructive it's very odd way of thinking but that was the reality that i saw because when the hundreds guy bobby hundreds came over to london that summer to kind of visit um you know to, to, to visit people and hang out one thing that i instantly noticed was how different everybody treated us right everybody was treating us so differently when i went to stores the difference was so funny you see such a big difference for people how they treat you inside the stores when the hundreds guys come it was like night and day there were some stores i'd go to in london like the hideout and like bond international and the guys would be such cunts and then the moment i walked in there with bobby hundreds from the hundreds suddenly everybody was all smiles they were all kind of dapping me up and stuff and it completely changed how i, how I was kind of regarded um you know the next time that I kind of went there as well on my own. So it was kind of funny to kind of see it. So that was kind of cool. Um, but then again, like I said, I just think in general, they suffered mostly because of their fans. People just assumed their fans were corny. They didn't really like them too much, right? It's like, I don't know. It's, it's a really unfortunate situation. And of course, their project, their product as well, wasn't the greatest, right? I feel like their quality standards or the consistency of their collections kind of wavered from time to time. The, the creative direction was kind of all over the place um i was never the biggest fan of the logo personally um and i just think in general they weren't regarded as a core cool brand i remember there was a time actually i think it was a time bobby hundreds came over he was discussing maybe some potential collaboration with supreme and the meeting didn't really go too well i think that was all kind of part of it because people kind of looked down upon them you know they kind of saw them and thought you know what nah 
we don't really like you too much we think you're a bit weird um your brand isn't that cool and personally for me one of the things that kind of put me off the hundreds over the years i have to be honest was when the adam bomb started to become the prominent logo i always thought the adam bomb logo was incredibly lame and corny i just preferred the fucking text of that the hundreds written in script i've actually got a picture of myself wearing some see i actually preferred this logo this logo was pretty cool this like logo with just a text written across the chest in the hundreds in this big thick font um maybe the the, the bomb logo kind of works a little bit there but i actually preferred it how it worked there and then of course i've got this old the hundreds starter hat that or well, starter kind of type hat that they did in the past as well and this is actually when i used to get flow this is the last time i got flow this is the last time i got flow you know what i mean this is the last time i got flow and it was flipping great to fucking see to be able to get all these free products given to you to kind of feel like a bit of an influencer and um the other time as well that i got some flow from the hundreds from these old pictures of myself on the flicker was when i had these flipping jeans from the hundreds back in the day when they did these raw denim jeans these japanese denim jeans from back in the day the hundreds did right and i wore these things into the ground they had these amazing um wave logo i think on the side i think if i'm not mistaken this stitching um embroidery the purple thing in the back pockets was something relating to like earthquakes in san francisco or something like that i'm not too sure if that was a, the vibe about it or something like that that was a kind of nod and i used to wear them i wore them into the ground these things absolutely got busted together i absolutely flipping loved them so um big up the hundreds um unfortunately they don't get the respect they deserve i think a lot of it has to do like i said with consistency wasn't great it was all kind of up and down um the projects and the works were a little bit all over the place the creative direction was a bit all over over the place and again like i said i think it was mostly the fucking issue was the customer base people just hated the customers they thought they were corny and lame that's the main thing that kind of let them down really really was the main thing that let them down so it's kind of sad to see how it kind of turned out with the fucking hundreds back in the day but i used to fucking love i used to love wearing the hundreds clothing i swear to god i used to absolutely love wearing everything from flipping the hundreds and i wish that they were still a prominent brand now because i would definitely be wearing it more of it now as you can see there's a tall another tall bar hoodie that i used to wear back in the day some fucking hunter dunks as well another 12 bar flipping t-shirt from back in the day supreme blazers um i forgot what that what that kind of collab air max was or rara or something like that i forgot what the brand was again some more 12 bar stuff as well here and a few other 12 bar bits and bobs up there as you can see as well but big up the hundreds always a big fan of the hundreds always a big fan of the hundreds